Welcome back. Our subject today will be allergic rhinitis. So let's start. Let's start with the uh, etiology of allergic rhinitis. It is a IgA IgE mediated uh, response and depend dependent uh, mast cell degranulation. Uh, most common cause would be a seasonal allergies like hay fever it's caused by a pollen or any dust from outside so what is the clinical presentation of allergic rhinitis we'll have a watery eyes bilateral bilateral very important uh, sneezing itchy nose itchy eyes, inflamed and boggy nasal mucosa, post nasal drip, post nasal drip also may be found in a in a maxillary sinusitis, uh, pale or viola cellus turbinates and cable stoning of the posterior pharynx is, is like pseudomonic for allergic rhinitis. Also, nasal polyps or one or multiple may be found. Also, nasal polyps as allergic rhinitis could be associated with uh, uh, with asthma. So, how we diagnose uh, allergic rhinitis? Mostly from clinical presentation of recurrent episodes of symptoms, as it occur in a season in a seasonal allergens like pollens or a any dust from plants it, it will be recurrent so also we can found in a blood elevated IgE level and from nasal smear me nasal smear may show an increased eosinophil content how we treat allergic rhinitis uh, first rule in medicine is to prevent the disease so prevention can be used like a treatment here so close window in the season uh, of pollens and allergens do not allow for passing allergens inside the room use the conditioning air for this also get rid of animals to which the patient is identified to be allergic so if you have a cat or a or a dog, uh, please. So you have to to isolate him or even to to escape from this animal. <laughs> Cover the mattresses and pillows, especially if contains wedges or any allergic compounds, and filters and uh, purifiers for air. A real treatment will be with drugs for sure. Only corticosteroids in a sprays is most effective. Um, antihistamines uh, from second generation that do not produce sedation. Uh, the third generation have a, a, a receptor action. So loratadine and clemastine or fexofenadine, any of them can be used uh, without a fear of sedation. So, once again, only corticosteroids are really effective. Antihistamines are for relieving the symptoms. Thank you very much for your watching. Hope you enjoy my lecture. And if you really enjoy, please subscribe.